Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're viewing this video from and when you're video viewing the video. But in any case, welcome to What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, guys, please keep in mind that comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. With that said and out of the way, taking a look here today at Euro US dollar. Uh, this is the one we're going to be highlighting here for for this video. As there's really not a whole lot of great setups out there, you know, looking across the board, a lot of um, deep retracements, grinding types of moves, some transitions going on from up to down or vice versa. So, you know, this could be a bit of a transition type of week for a lot of things. And that could lead to increased volatility and, and whippiness. So keep uh, that out on the radar. You know, be looking for that as a as a possibility here this week. But with that being said, again, Euro US dollar here seems to be transitioning lower, at least in the short term. We had this attempt to break out here that failed. Hard move down, breaking this support. Retracement, lower high, now a lower low. So there is room down to, at a minimum, this this level here around uh, 1.1143 or so. And so, uh, like I said, I think that at least at a minimum, we could get another lower high setting up somewhere where we are now, maybe a little bit higher into, say, around this 21 EMA. But in any case, I'd be looking for a lower high and then a move down into that support. And depending on how things continue to develop and evolve, you know, maybe even to some lower levels. And maybe, I mean, this is probably looking out a couple weeks, but maybe even back down to these prior lows around 1.0851 ish. Now, why would I be thinking? That we could come all the way back down here well taking a look at the weekly chart you can see that we've run up to the top of this range where we've been rejected from numerous times and and so that in and of itself suggests that we could see a move back down towards these lows uh, but at the same time you know we have these these moving averages that could result in some uh, attempts to hold and therefore the volatility i alluded to uh, when we when we just started this video here. So uh, in any case, there is definitely the potential to move lower based on rallying up to resistance. And in addition to that, looking at the monthly chart, you know, I mean, we had a huge move down. Really, we've just been going sideways here over the last several months. And we have now reached again the, the top of this resistance and now testing for really the first time this 21 EMA and it's getting rejected. So uh, that again is why I think that we could, depending on how weak things get, come back down towards the prior month's bar, uh, monthly bars low. So we'll see how that plays out. But I mean, the bottom line is we have these levels of support on the daily chart, which we need to pay attention to. Bigger picture. Is it possible that we come down here? Absolutely. But in the short term, we're just going to have to wait and see how things are, are flowing, how things are trending. And and keep in mind that it is possible to get down here, but we do have these levels that we need to deal with first. All right. So with that said, again, I am looking for weakness, at least to start the week and, and hopefully result in a move down towards this first support level. And then we see where it goes from there. Looking at the weekly chart, you can see here things have started to bleed lower as we already saw based on the daily. So I'll be watching this this hourly chart to see if we still get some some supply coming in here. We had this uh, initial topping tail candle a couple hours ago that so far has been negated. No real follow through. But if it continues to slow in momentum here, if we continue to see supply coming in, then I think we, we could easily see a move down, but it may need to come up a little bit higher too. So that's why I'll just be watching this here to see what it does. But overall bias definitely going to be a bit more bearish than bullish at this point for the reasons that, uh, that I've just gone through. So once again, going back to the daily chart again here, 
lower high, lower low after a breakout failure suggests that we will come down and test the next level of support, which is down here. And that's what I'll be looking for this week. And as, as I noted, in the coming weeks, maybe it continues to weaken even more. But we'll have to see, and we can always update it in future videos. So with that, guys, make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you can receive future video updates. And if you have any questions, you can do that in the uh, comment section below. But until the next time, stay patient, stay disciplined, and stay confident. And we'll talk again soon.